Today on Moving Day, could this be the most organised woman on the planet? The cupboard, as you can see, is alphabetically ordered. But everything's in danger of going horribly wrong on Moving Day. Hang on, Maureen, where's your colour-coded system? It's in another container. Oh, that's an absolute travesty. I you know. had it all organised. I know. And today we've come to the village of Stubbs Cross in Kent to meet up with a couple who are moving away from their family home of 23 years in just over a week's time. They're leaving a 1920 semi-detached bungalow with a huge three-quarters of an acre of garden. It's big. To a similar sized house but with a much more manageable plot. Meet the Andrews. Maureen is a retired florist while husband Barry runs a management training consultancy from his fully kitted out garden shed. The Andrews' current house is in a semi-rural setting with a whopping great 700-foot garden that backs onto open countryside. The plot needs a lot of upkeep, and it's gone from being a pleasure to being a chore. So they're off. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. Hello, Gavin. Hello, Gavin. Hello, Gavin. Hello, Gavin. Good to see you. Everything's boxed up and ready to go into storage for a few days while they get their new home ship shape for moving in. Right, now the big move takes place in just over a week's time. How organised are you? Pretty organised. <laughs> as soon as we were set on moving, I thought, I've got to have a system. Mm. That is what I'm known for, my systems. Um, and I went straight to a local state large stationer's shop and got rolls of bubble wrap, rolls of coloured tape, and each room will have its own colour coding. So, Maureen, would it be fair to say that you're a bit of a control freak? Only when I'm, I've got a project. This, I've got to say, is the most com comprehensive list I think I've seen. All the bits of paper as well, ready to go onto the rooms, so you know which room's which. Let's have a little check here. A bit of furniture. Yellow, bedroom three. Blue, bedroom two. See, that's good. This is obviously going in a different bedroom. If I was a removal man, you saw it as a matching set, you'd probably put it all in one room. That's sorted that out. And... Uh, just in case you get confused and decide that the double mattress needs to go in the kitchen, clearly it's got a blue label on, which means bedroom two. Maureen's flair for organisation is evident all around the house. We've got all the CDs up either side in this unit, tapes and so forth, videos, all numbered. This looks like a system developing. And a little piece of paper inside. Sir Cliff Richard, we salute you. One of his favourite videos. That's number 20. There's a little blue book here. And we can just check to make sure. Number 20, more Cliff programmes. Personally, I don't think there's enough. With that huge garden taking up so much of their energy, Barry and Maureen are looking forward to spending more time on themselves. We want to go to New Zealand. We want to, uh, to, to travel around a bit more and... Uh, when you drive out of the driveway and you think, I really ought to be down in the garden cutting the grass or cutting back some hedges, I think time then to start saying, we've got it wrong a bit. I think we'll probably be a little bit choked up when we actually close the door for the last time and think, There's this so isn't much to look forward to. Yes, you've just got to move on and, mm. and start thinking about what's coming along rather than what's past. Now... A normal garden, they say, is you're lucky if you've got 40 or 50 feet of garden. Here you've got 700. Well, when I first bought this property, on the particulars from the estate agents, it said suitable for a small, small holding. And I thought to myself, fantastic. A few years' time, just what I want, you know, to retire with a small holding, a few plants, a few chickens, this sort of thing. It'd be wonderful. Now I've changed my mind. I'm not quite so sure that's the, the idea, but over the years, we've transformed it, literally, from what it was to what you see now. Now, most people like a shed, maybe a couple, not Barry and Maureen, they've got seven. This little workshop here, or shed here. This was Maureen's flower workshop. What's the next one we've got here? Well, this is actually my office. Your, your den? They're my den. This is a potting shed. Potting and shed? And <clears throat> this shed I brought down with me when I moved down from Essex to, to Kent. And the garage there was the original garage that was at the top when we first bought the property. And uh, I moved it down to here to put the uh, machinery in, tractors and mowers and cement mixer and all oh, you name it, I've got it in there. Barry 
and Maureen are selling their four bedroom bungalow for just under £250,000. They're moving to a £217,000 two storey suburban property three miles away on the outskirts of Ashford. And Maureen and I have nipped over there to get a feel for the new area. It's much more of a community. There's some shops over the way within walking distance, local beauty spot with lakes and things of just a short walk away. Yeah. And all the time that used to be spent in the garden will be spent on new hobbies. In the conservatory, I should be doing things like tapestries and sewing and uh, <laughs> all sorts of things. A more relaxing place yes, to chill out, yes. kick back and look at the garden. A now, lot what is more me time. More me time. Mm. <laughs> that is important. What are you, why are you not getting enough me time at the moment? Just the garden. <laughs> the garden takes all of me time. <laughs> The Andrews are moving all their stuff into storage while they decorate the new house. And they'll be staying with daughter Donna for a few days till the paint dries. How's it going? Fine, fine, thank you. Lots to do, but yeah, it's getting Down there. This, how is your mother such an organisational <laughs> genius? <laughs> it's something I think she was just born like that. It's just, it's amazing. In fact, the cupboard, as you can see, is alphabetically ordered. Everything is, have all the sweet stuff one side, savoury stuff the other side, and it's all in alphabetical order. Now, why would the lentil and vegetable soup be there? That was me, I put that there earlier. Oh, just if your to, mother yeah. had seen that, <laughs> it could have been big trouble. You used to do that, Not actually, just Maureen. come in and just move everything around, just to, you know, just really annoy her. Maureen's so organised that it's hard to find something useful to do, but Barry's got a job for Gavin to recycle some furniture. What I would really like is to use these wardrobes as storage space in my office in the new house. Now, what needs to be done, the same as you saw in the office down in the garden there, is for these to be re-established up there and some shelves built in the right depth for um, files. Um, I think for getting them there, it would be best to keep the units whole right. but remove the doors Yes. Because, uh, I mean, these are in good yeah, nick. Yeah, they do get damaged, don't they? Yeah, and it's because they're only a laminate, you do find the tops and edges might chip. So right. if I get all the doors off... Fantastic. Um, you can, if you want to pack them up, bubble wrap, tape them up and everything. Okay. Right, toolkit's here. Right. I'll get the bubble wrap. OK. I'll get the first door off. Is that the two of you? Yes. <laughs> yes. That is absolutely classic. You both look quite sour face in that picture. Of the <laughs> but it's the look they've gone for. It's the, the dramatic look. Yes. It's worked very well. Real gone with the wind stuff there. It very is. glamorous. But it's not just mum and dad who are getting nostalgic. It suddenly hit me the other day um, that the house is being sold. My childhood home is going. Um, and this is the house you grew up in. Yeah. And did you think your mum and dad were going to be here forever? Yes, I did. <laughs> Are you <laughs> furious did. that they're selling the house? Um, no, I'm excited for them. I'm excited for them. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been quite strange. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster, actually. You know, sort of, I'm, I'm pleased for them, I'm happy for them that they're going, but it's also, it's my childhood home. After 23 years in the house, the Andrews' memories will still be coming with them. Now, Gavin, I have to say, Maureen and Barry are probably the most organised movers in the history of the universe. I didn't even have to go over my usual checklist with Maureen because she's got all bases covered. I have to say, though, slightly concerned about the fact that all their belongings are going to storage for a whole week. How will Maureen cope? They'll be out of her hands. I think she'll cope by going in there and labelling up everybody else's <laughs> stuff in storage using special colour-coded stickers. As now, she the, does. Real, <laughs> the real worry for me, though, is the thing I leave them behind, that great expanse mm. of the garden. A lot of work's going to it, a lot of blood, sweat and I tears. Know. And I think we're going to see mixed emotions on moving day. Oh, good move, bad move. It's the day the Andrews move all their belongings into storage. The last of the packing's done, and hopefully Maureen's colour coding system will make the job of unloading into the right room a lot easier in a week's time. Maureen's so prepared that she's factored in plenty of time to give the place a good old spring clean, both inside and out. It's just nice that when people come into the house, it's, uh, it's welcoming and it, it, it looks nice and clean. It doesn't look uncared for, because I think a happy home has been well looked after. <laughs> If you've been happy here, which we have, and I hope they will be too.
No job is too much for Maureen. She's even prepared a comprehensive household manual for the new owners. That we've done. Yes, the water main keys I've got ready yes, for them. Yes, that's already. I told them where the stopcock is indoors. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is for the security. All of these are papers for everything that we've had installed in the house. We've laid the fire for them. Yes, a nice lounge fire. Nice, so if they, uh, they want to snuggle nice down tonight. Nice fire for tonight. Box of matches. Yes. Because they probably won't be able to find those. Won't even have thought to bring any, I don't suppose. So they'll be able to sit with their feet up tonight if they get time mm. and have a nice open Lovely. fire. Everything's packed up and ready to go. It's an emotional moment for Maureen. When my dad used to come down. He used to go outside when we had the old kitchen and made him a cup of tea. And he just went like that to tip the the last bits of the tea out and the whole cup handle came off and he was holding the handle and the mug went sprawling across the lawn. Just lots of memories. Can't say much more. Coming up, Barry can hardly bear to watch as Maureen's carefully laid plans go awry. There was going to be a label on every door so the guys knew exactly where they were going. Can you believe all that? And things go horribly wrong with the new decor. You're not happy about that? Doesn't really, it's not really quite what we wanted, was it? While Barry and Maureen Andrews have had all their worldly possessions in storage for over a week now since they moved out of their home of 23 years. And they're all set to move into their new home here in Singleton. That's Singleton, Sally. Sound familiar? I don't know what you're talking about. New carpets! New Look carpet. at this! No shoe area! Wonderful! <laughs> Fabulous. So what have you done since you had the keys? Oh, what haven't we done? We've filled all the holes up, uh, rubbed everything down, we've rubbed all the paintwork down, we had to wash all the walls, because that was a deep, deep maroon. Deep maroon. And we've given the walls to coats and then we ran out of paint. Barry and Maureen have waved goodbye to their massive garden. Instead, they've got a relaxing conservatory. And I'm so looking forward to a Sunday morning with a cup of coffee and a newspaper just to sit and relax in the conservatory. You won't be doing that. <laughs> Got more well, decorating. More yeah. decorating to do. More decorating, yeah. The garden yeah. looks really good, actually. It's in quite yes, good nick, isn't it's it? It's very sweet. This is the kitchen. Aha! Uh -huh. What a fabulous <laughs> kitchen! Where the kettle it's lives! Well, I've got a great tip for you, because I used to have the metallic mm -hmm. splash back. WD-40. Works a treat. Really? Yes. What, you just spray it on? So spray it on, it and then a bit of kitchen toweling. Wow. Gavin, go and check out in there. I, I can see what's going to happen here. <laughs> That kind of makes up for not having six storage sheds, really, Barry, doesn't it? <laughs> Square well, footage, I should imagine, about one Get a shed. lot in there, yeah. Yeah, actually, he doesn't know it yet, but that's his office, because I'm telling him it's nearer the kitchen. This is our master bedroom, where yes. we shall be. Wow. Very nice, soft lavender, which is really lovely. Mm. Well, we have a beautifully fitted bathroom, complete with a Whirlpool spa, and um, I'm sure it's going to be great when we're finished on this. Yes. Extra large yes, garden. But don't forget, Karen did warn us not to put too much bubble bath in because <laughs> it, uh, if you do, you could disappear underneath yes. it with bubbles everywhere. Yes. So we must yes. be careful about that. Yes. I have to say, you guys, I'm really surprised with your decor taste because it's a world away from your last house. I know. Yes. But we said new property, new chain, change of everything. Isn't it? And this um, is going to be my office. Oh, do go in. Oh, thank you. Look at the colour. Beautiful here. colour, isn't it gorgeous? It's great. It's Are you lovely. happy with this room, yes, Barry? Yes, yes. Now, those wardrobes, do you remember those wardrobes we spoke about? No, I can't remember a thing about them. Okay, of course fine. I can, Barry. I'm all geared to sort them out right. for you. Well, they're just across the way. OK. And what we'd like to do is to put them across there and across here. Mm -hmm. Right. To fill in that corner. The removal team is here. Gav's getting busy building shelving for Barry's office. And Maureen doesn't want her precious new carpet to get ruined. But daughter Donna's already spotted a problem with it. Shame about the colouring, but... <laughs> what colouring? Walls. You're not happy about that? Doesn't really... It's not really quite what we wanted, was it? Lise, Ooh. it's the wrong colour carpet, actually. Yes. I had the sample of the carpet and I matched it in with the chamois paint and colour-coded it, colour-coordinated it. And when they, as soon as they opened it this morning and they started laying on the stairs, I said, that's not the right colour. And they said, you're joking. 
I said, no, I'm so sorry. I said, it's not the right colour. And I got the sample out. This is definitely veering on the shade of pink, whereas the other one was a terracotta. Ah. And evidently the sample is about two years old and the manufacturers have probably changed the colouring. So after all our hard work of doing the walls to match the other carpet, oh. we've now got to redo them all. But they have very kindly said they'll pay for the paint. But it's not the only problem. Maureen's having to direct traffic herself as her clever colour coding chart is missing in action. This is the main bedroom at the front. Turn left at the top of the landing, thank you. Well, you know what they say about the best laid plans. You know that's the little room at the back. Hang on, Maureen, where's your colour-coded system? It's in another container. Oh, that's an absolute travesty. I you know, had it all organised. I know, and it was all going to be easy. There was going to be a label on every door so the guys knew exactly where they were going. Can you believe all that? Which means it's that we... It's coming together, though. It's coming together fine, but everyone has... They don't know which room's yellow, which room's blue. Undeterred, the guys have managed to work out that the green boxes go in the kitchen. Oh, mind the paintwork? Meanwhile, Gav's hard at it in the garden. Now, I've uh, cut down the MDF. We've got a big sheet of MDF. Right. And uh, I've just been cutting all the shelves ready for your units. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that the bigger units, because they're quite wobbly, they used to be wardrobes, so obviously they're not designed for that weight. That's right. So with the MDF, we're using 18mm MDF, nice and thick. Put that across it, that'll stop it rocking. Right. And we're putting it on this 30mm batons, batons yeah. yeah. Lovely. Which means it'll take a lot of weight. Well, yes. One of those along the back. Yes, yes. And then along the front, and what I've done oh, is I've just look put at this, a, look at this. Yeah, a little mitre. So when you look at it from the front, yes. you're not going to see the end grain of the yeah, wood. Fantastic. And I'll fix those into the wardrobe, gluing them and right. screwing them. Right. Shelves will just drop in. Yes. So if you ever want to take them out for any reasons, these will be fixed, these will come straight out. Good. I've just got to finish cutting them up. I'll have them a cup of tea first. Yes, right. indeed. And then I'll get up there and um, start fixing them. Here we are. Should be nice. You can give oh, me a hand if you like. Yeah, indeed. But even with all that extra shelving, Barry's still going to be short of storage space. Just look at this. The garage is already jam-packed with stuff. They've got really limited space here compared with their other house that had about seven or eight sheds. So I've organised a little bit of a surprise for Barry and Maureen. Don't know how we're going to keep this one secret, though. While the shed goes up and the last few things come off the lorry, Maureen's colour coding system has finally materialised. Yes, I've got the box of joy. Well, that was going to help everybody. We're, they'll all know exactly where all the boxes have got to go now, won't they? Oh, well, better late than never, Maureen, eh? With piles of stuff still to put away, at least I've nearly finished converting the wardrobes for Barry's top priority, his office files. Downstairs, I'm getting to grips with yet another of Maureen's systems. What kind of order would you like them in? The artists that are individual artists go in alphabetical order, starting over this side with the A's or the B's. <laughs> See, there's Bert Bacharach, and that comes before Beatles. Thank you. I do know the alphabet, Maureen. <laughs> I think I'm going to be more of a hindrance than a help here, right? I have it? another one with Bert Bacher right here, so you... <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. Boyzone. Are you into Boyzone? I'm a big fan of Ronan. Baby, can I hold you to... No, forget it. Let's That's not go there. near enough, yeah. Oh, here's something I'm not so happy about. Robson and Jerome. Great, so... Oh, big yeah. thing at Soldier Soldier. Mm. Yes, you've let yourself down there, uh, Maureen. Lost a bit of credibility, I yes. feel. A few finishing touches and our housewarming present is complete. I think you've gathered that something is going on here outside in your garden. Look, ah. what we thought we would do is um, give you a shed because you haven't got one and you had so many sheds in the last house. Oh, oh my wonderful. <laughs> It's a gift from us just to say welcome to your new house. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you so that, oh, much. I'm, I'm choked. <laughs> You've got somewhere to put all your little tools now. <laughs> so that you're yeah, getting... but we can put the bicycles in and we can put uh, the mowers and all the... Oh, fantastic. It's such a help. In fact, it's difficult to see just how they'd have managed without it. <laughs> wow. You're looking great at your Fantastic. shed. Fantastic. <laughs> He's having a Rocky Balboa moment oh, of joy. Wonderful. This Brilliant. shed. Right, Thanks what should we do with that? Right, we're going to stand that in there. That's enough mucking about in the shed. I want to show off my handiwork. Barry! Gavin! 
Come and have a look at this. Or shall I say, hey. these. These. Wow. Da -da. Shelving. Oh, fantastic. In there. Brilliant. That's one. That's wonderful. In that one as well. What a hell. It goes right round the corner. You are a star. And finally, in that hey. one. Hey. Now, it's all tied up, all tightened yes. up together. Yes. The only thing it needs now is you to put your files in. That's a great idea, isn't it? I'm going to have a five minutes break. I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much indeed. They are brilliant. Oh, I'm so pleased. And they fit. Gavin, they fit. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is a triumphant moment. The chart is down, Maureen. It's off oh, the wall. Brilliant. It's all finished. We don't need the chart anymore. We don't need all your box of tricks anymore. However, Gavin, what's in the box? Now, we have some uh, champagne flutes. <laughs> Orange tape. Where are they for? Oh, <laughs> Orange tape. Look, it's for the dining the room dining lounge. The dining room stroke. Lounge. So that's that one. Okay. Oh. And oh, also, Sal, so this is marked in orange as well. Longer needed. Oh. Well done, Gavin. Oh, there we go. Happy, happy home to you, Maureen Donna, and of course, Barry. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Anyway, that's it from us. If you want any hot tips on how to help your move run smoothly, you can always check out our website. It's itv.com. Slash moving day. Correct. From me and Gav here in Singleton. See you soon. Bye. Bye.